What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. We're hopping back onto the rank double ladder with this team right here. We got this Pissimian team that covers so much. I cannot wait to use this team with this Gardevoir and Women's Cop. We cover both sides of the playing field with the Trick Room and the Speed Aspect. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of you guys time to support the channel and help it grow. Rocking out on this team, we have this Pissimian right here, who is kind of like our new Pokemon who I want to show off in today's video. It is Defiant. It's going to be a great lead. We can always U-turn out or knock off items with him and do some work with that close combat. He is a Salt Vest, so he's going to be able to eat up a few more special attack shots, so that'll be good. We have this Arcanine right here, coverage set with him, with the Choice Band, with close combat, Wild Charge, Extreme Speed, for first turn priority, and Flare Blitz for stab. We have this Gardevoir over here. Gardevoir is going to be great for the Trick Room aspect of these battles. It has Trick Room and Imprison, so if we know they're rocking out with the Trick Room team, we can just imprison the Trick Room on us so they cannot use it, or we can roll out with another Trick Room to counteract their Trick Room. Next, we got this Wimscott to cover the speed aspect. Like I said, we cover both sides of the playing field with this team. It's going to be a cool little team. Wimscott has that normal move set. He's going to Tailwind set up. He has a Moon Blast, Energy Ball to do some damage, and the Protect as a nice little doubles move. Then we got the T-Tar with that weakness policy. We might try to force a little bit of super effective move if we know we can eat it up, because once we get that weakness policy triggered, it's going to be domination. We can Dynamax the T-Tar, go in after that, have plus two attack, and just roll out from there. And then in the final spot right here, we have this Life Orb Rotom. Not a lot of Rotoms get the Life Orb. Not a lot of the Rotoms do get the Life Orb, but it's going to be awesome to kind of like show this off. We can get them in, we can Dynamax, we have Bolt Switch and Leaf Storm for stab. We can potentially put some burns on, and we have Protect. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself, Brunt the Code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know how you do with it. Also, let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite generation of Pokemon just based on the Pokemon? So, no story mode, nothing along those lines, just based on how the Pokemon look. For me, I like Gen 4 and Gen 5. I can't really decide. I think both of them have very cool looking Pokemon and just something new to the table. But guys, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Pissimian team. Going up against a pretty cool looking team. I kind of like it. It's not, not something you normally see, so it's going to be fun to verse up against. We're going to lead the Pissimian. Pissimian's going to roll in here. He's going he's gonna to be able to knock off some items. We're going to lead the Whimscott too. Get the speed advantage going. We're going to get the speed advantage going. Uh, do I bring Arcanine? I feel like Arcanine could be solid. Uh, I mean, Arcanine could be good. It could be all right. It could be decent now that I'm looking at it more and more. Uh, but definitely that Rotom. Rotom kind of covers a lot. Let's go Rotom. And I think Titar actually. I think Ro Rotom Titar might be the call. I keep... Uh, Keep Ar Arcanine out of here. Because the Rotom covers the electric and the grass. That's fine. We don't really need fire. If we're rocking out with the Pissimian. Pissimian can do some work on that Ferrothorn. Um, Grimmsnarl. He's going to lead that Grimmsnarl. He's going to lead the Grimmsnarl. Potentially Grimmsnarl Milotic. Uh, I just want to get the speed going. I can totally U-turn out into something else. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll roll out with this team. I think he's going to bring the Grimmsnarl Milotic. Um, Ferrothorn. And maybe this ult. And maybe this ult. We'll see. We'll see how things roll. But guys, you want to catch more content from me? You guys already know the deal. Head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch stream. Four plus days every single week. Come hang out. Come ask me questions. We do viewer battles over there and we push the rank ladder. Who is he leading? Who is he leading? Grimstar or Sylveon? Okay, that's fine. Sylveon? Obviously, the Grimstar was coming out here. But the Sylveon comes out here against the Pacinian. Uh, Do I knock off its uh, spray? We think it's rocking a third spray? I might knock it off right away. But yo, knock it off, buddy. We're going to set up this tailwind, though, right off the rip. And we are going to go into a knockoff. Where, where do I just iron head? Where do I just put the pressure on? I could put the pressure on. I'm going I'm to iron head to Sylveon. Potentially get a flinch here. And we're going to do some big damage just to get us started. Just to get us started. Because we know the Grimstar is going to do something. No damage, right? Reflect. Okay. Gonna set up a, I was going to say he's going to set up a screen or he's going to go for a status condition. Let's see what happens. Iron head pops. Can we get a flinch or do some mega damage? Get the flinch then. Yes, okay, big flinch there. Uh, do I U-turn out from here? I'm gonna Moon Blast on you. I might actually U-turn out. Or I might knock off the item first. Hmm. Or, or, why? Or should I double into the Sylveon? I might double into the Sylveon just to get it out the way. Nice and early here. Yeah, I am gonna double into the Sylveon here. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it out the way. This thing is not, I don't think it's uh, gonna go for a Protect. Let's see what happens here. Sylveon's gonna Dynamax. Ooh, wait, maybe we should just Dynamax that Pissimian. Maybe we should just Dynamax that Pissimian early on. Ooh, that could have been big. That could have been big. We could have got the Sylveon out of the way. But this is honestly fine by me. It's honestly fine by me because it has the fairy move. We could potentially go into our T-Tar, Dynamax him, trigger that weakness policy, and roll out from there. That could be that could be good news. That could be good news. 
T-Wave's gonna pop on my Pissimian. He's gonna double into my Pissimian here, hands down. Oh, that's rough news. That's rough news. I really do like the Pissimian out here. Yeah, Moonblast's gonna pop here. Ugh. Just a little bit of damage. Pissimian's obviously paralyzed because my luck stinks! My luck is... Mm, God, man. Pissimian, eat this up, buddy. Nope. Not even the salt vest helps him out. That is super effective. Wow. Okay. Gone. Bye. See you later, Pissimian. Thanks for coming. The paralyzed kind of... Kind of did us dirty there. Okay. Now, do we roll into the T-Tar right off the bat? He has no, like... He has no stat boost. Nothing too, too special. I'm gonna roll into you. I am gonna protect right off the bat to kind of eat up a shot. And he's gonna T-Wave. I think he's gonna T-Wave my T-Tar here. Which is not a big deal. This is why we are gonna go into the protect. We're gonna eat up a shot. Trigger our weakness policy. Then roll out from there. And we're gonna roll out from there. Let's get it. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm gonna Moonblast over on the Grimstone. I'm definitely, because I'm predicting the double into us. I'm predicting the T-Wave into the Starfall on us. Just double one into us. So we're chilling. We are chilling. I mean, can he T-Wave? Is there a Veil on us? Let's see. But I can still totally see him doubling up into us. Protect from the Tar. Yeah, yee, baby. Give me that shield, baby. Give me that shield. <laughs> and what's going to happen here? The light screen. Okay, the light screen's fine. Yeah, he has the protective mist around it. So the T-Wave wasn't going to work. So he's going to set up the screens, which is fine. Moon blasting. Yeah, 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 do some damage on the Snarl Snarl. Nice little damage there. And the Starfall is going to come over on my T-Tar. The Protect is going to help us out a ton. Nice little Protect. Give me that weakness policy. We should be able to outspeed that thing. We should be able to outspeed it with the, what's it called? With the Tailwind up. So we're going to dump on the Sylveon and we're going to take out the Snarl. We're going to go for a little 2v1 action here. Dynamax in the boy. Like I said in the beginning, once we get this weakness policy triggered, ooh wee. It's game. It's game. I'm feeling it now. We're going to double up on his Pokemon and take this victory, I think. Yo, Grimmsnarl. Bye. I can see him going for a Max Guard. Do I even Dynamax here? Yeah, we're going to Dynamax. Uh, ch -ch -ch. We could go for a Rockfall. I mean, Rock is stab. So, we're going to go for a Rockfall here. Over on the Sylveon. Over on the Sylveon. Sylveon actually might be able to eat it up. No, no way. We're weak this policy. What am I thinking? He's not going to be able to eat that up. Let's get it. It's gonna, I forget the exact uh, boost of the Sandstorm. I think it boosts special defense for rock types. And I think rock moves get a boost. I think that's the two thing. And the buff has come out, obviously, which is huge. There goes our Dynamax. Doubling up our HP. 338. Woo! <laughs> Thunder Wave's coming out here. Bruh, you have the Protective Mist. Protective Mist. Look, we're learning here. I usually, like, forget about it, but I'm learning here. Grimstrong's gonna go down to this Moonblast. And then the Rockfall's gonna come through and... He's going to take out the Sylveon. Say bye to Sylveon, everyone. Sylveon, bye. Bye. See you next fall. Get him out of here. You're gone. You're trash, kid. <laughs> See you, Sylveon. Go on. I told you. We have this one basically in the bag. We have the weakness positive trigger. We have the speed advantage. It just sinks that Pissimian had to go down early on. Like, I was going to rock out with him, do some work with, like, knockoffs, taking off items and all that good stuff. But there goes our tail, and we'll just set up another one. No big deal at all. <laughs> Who's he going to go into? I can see him totally, like, canceling out the battle here. Because he has to know it's over. Unless he has a Draco Fish, which he does not. Which he does not have a Draco Fish. Because I was going to say, that's the only thing that could outspeed me and take me out. He's going to go Milo and the Zolt. Milo and the Zolt. Um, I can totally see the Protect coming around from the Milo tick. To be honest. Am I even Tailwind? Yeah, we, we need this Tailwind. We're going to Tailwind up here. I can see the Protect coming in from the Milo tick. I think I'm going to just jump on this, uh, this what's it called. Hmm. I think I'm just going to dump on the uh, The Draco Zolt We're going to do some work to him The reason I'm going into the Max Darkness is to lower the special defense Oh, Draco Zolt goes for the Protect Man Dang it, are they double and protecting? No Dang it, dude I would have went after that Milo take if I would have known Oh, man We'll at least drop his special defense here Which is fine and we can just take out the Draco Zolt next turn. We have our what's called in the back end. The Life Orb Rotom that just dumps on the Milo Tick. Electric Stab, Leaf Stab. It's game over after that. Competitive. That's a little scary. That's a little scary. But we're fine. We're fine. I don't think he's going to take out my T-Tar with a water move here. By going into a Scald here. An Icy Wind. Ooh, you want to drop my speed? Ooh. Takes out my Whimsy. Takes out my Whimsy. We're going to bring in the boy. We're going to bring in the Rotom. Just Leaf Storm on that, uh, that Milo Tick. That's fine. And we can take out the Draco Zolt with a uh, Rockfall here. I don't really want to trigger that competitive once again. I really do not. So we'll just go Leaf Storm into Rockfall. And I could probably one-tap them both. I think Rotom could take out that Milo Tick in one shot with that Life Orb. Let's get it. Leaf Storm. Yeah, yeet. 
My Rotom should be the fastest on the field. And then Rockfall over on the Zoltski. Bye, Zoltski. <laughs> this should be game. This should be game. Unless uh, Milotic goes for the Protect. I could see it going for Protect. I thought it was going to go for it last round. But the dang Draco Zolt, the dang Big Tail Dinosaur over there, went for the Protect. I was not. I was actually not expecting that. More so the Milotic. Here goes the Milotic. Milotic sends it. Psh, that's fine. We'll take out the Zolt here. Is the Zolt going to outspeed me? No, he does not. Well, he might have to be my T-Tar because we are minus one on the speed board. But he still does not. Let's go, dude. Tailwind, good. Tailwind is clutch. Let's go. Let's take out. Boom. Bye, Zolt. Let's go. First match is looking good, guys. First match is looking good. I, I do really enjoy this team. I think it's very good. I think it covers so much. Like I said, it covers the Trick Room. It covers the speed aspect. Has a lot of good damage dealing Pokemon. And that Pissimian is cool, but I didn't really get to show him off as much as I want to. Considering the Paralyze. Blah, blah, blah. But I should have U-turned out early on. That, that, that was my fault. That was actually my fault. Because we were going to go down anyway. That, uh... What is it? The Sylveon was going to eat up the Iron Head anyway. So we probably should have U-turned out turn one. Because we did know that it was super effective to us anyway. But we'll take that one to the chin. We'll learn for the next match. Leaf Storm's going to pop. Say GG. See you later, Milo Tick. Good game. Good game. Let's go. Match one in the books. Let's hop into match number two. And we're going to actually try to show off that Passimian a little bit more. Hopefully, we get a good matchup with it. And then we can rock out and show off the other Pokemon on this team as well. Not going to lie. I'm kind of scared of this dude's team. It has the first or second stage of Gothitel right here. Probably Evo Light. It has a Snom. That could be Evo Light. Either of those, one of them is holding the Evo Light. This is pretty scary. Like, the Snom's just freaking me out a little bit. He has the Wishy Washy. That's fine. That's a normal Pokemon. He just looks small in his little sprite. Who am I going to lead? Who am I going to lead? That Snom's freaking me out, guys. It's freaking me out. I'm going to lead the Passimian, though. Passimian's going to come in here. This little Assault Vest here is going to work clutch. A lot of special attackers here. A lot of special attackers. Do I go for the speed advantage? Or do I see a Trick Room team? I can see a Trick Room team. Not even going to lie. I'm going to go Passimian to God of War. God of War. Um, I'm going to go Titar. I think I'm going to go Titar here. Yeah, that weakest policy. Then do we go Arcanine? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go Arcanine here. Arcanine's going to be a good little call in the back end. Where do I go Rotom? Rotom over Titar. Or Titar. No, Titar. Ooh. Rotom actually is very good. Rotom could do some work. Actually, he... Mm. It's, I'm just thinking about that Wishy Washy, who he's probably bringing in here. Mm. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling with the T-Tar and leaving the Rotom in the back end. Did I get that off? Did I get that off? Because I just saw the timer end it. So hopefully I got my team off in time. I was thinking a little bit too much. But they should totally have a little 10, 9, 8 little countdown on the screen before the match even starts. Like, they have it for the moveset and everything. Well, not the moveset, the timer on the moves. Why not have it on the timer when you pick a Pokemon? Because that's just, like, more important. Who's he going to? He goes into this thing. This little thing. The little first, second stage. I can't even think of the same. Gothita? Is this Gothita? Or is this second stage? We do have Trace. We are going to chase or Trace Gooey. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's see what... Did I bring, bring my whole team? Yeah, okay. We got this team. Um, bum, 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 bum. I can see him totally swapping out that, uh... I'm gonna knock off this thing's item. Do I imprison here? And predict the swap out? I'm gonna predict the swap out. Not the sludge bomb. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna predict the swap out and imprison the trick room. That guy's gonna pop. Okay, that's fine. This thing... Okay, we're gonna imprison this. Just in case this thing could be rolling trick room. Let's see. Let's see what happens. And the dra oh, Dragon Pulse is gonna come through. That's fine by me. I thought he was totally going for the... Uh, what's going on? We eat that up all day. I thought he was totally going for, like, the Sludge Bomb. But see me, he does flinch. That's fine now. Now we can knock off this thing's item. And we are going to go into a nice little Dazzling Gleam. Do I D-Max? Do I D-Max and get this thing out the way? I think I am. I think I am going to D-Max here. Yeah, we're going to try to get this Gudra out the way. Out of the way easily here. Knock off the item of that little Gothitelle thingy. Because it's probably holding Evo Light. So if I can take that off, he'll, that'll just be an easy kill. Get him out of here. So we know that my my Pissimian should be fastest on the field. I think it is. Actually, no, my Gardevoir actually might be faster. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. This is just throwing me off a little bit. I'm a little confused. We did Imprison, so in case that thing is rolling Trick Room, it cannot do it. Because Imprison takes the moves that we have, makes the opponent not be able to use them. Starfall's going to pop here. We do Outspeed. Wonderful. This should be able to do some nice damage on him, but I know this thing is tanky. Yeah. So that thing goes down to pass half. That's nice, actually. That goes down to half. We get the veil going. Not the veil. The misty terrain. The misty terrain pops. 
And can my Pissimian go knock off that item? T-Ball gonna roll out here. He double. Jesus, leave my Pissimian alone. Leave him alone. Knockoff's coming out here. Are we gonna... Is this Evo Light? Let's see. Oh, and that's super effective. Nice damage. Let's see if... What we knock off? The Evo Light. Okay, beautiful Evo Light pops. Shadow Ball's gonna come in here. Do, like, nothing to us. This match... Like, I don't know what this dude's kind of up to. Uh, I could just U-turn out and take this thing out. No, 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 no. We'll keep the Pissimian in here. I'm gonna just go for another knockoff because I know the knockoff will kill it. And if he, does, if he does swap, we'll knock off the item too. And then Starfall over on the Gudra. I don't know if this is like a little joke battle for this guy or like what's going on. <laughs> like this is ranked battles. Like I, I can see this thing in competitive or casual, but not ranked. But he does swap, so we do get the knockoff off on the Doral not now. So good call by me to go into the knockoff once again because it was gonna kill that thing anyway. And then if he swaps, we just take his item too. So we're going to take this thing's item. I'm guessing it's either Life Orb or Assault Vest it. We will see in just a second. Big plays. Big plays. He tries to get his Doral out in here. We say, nah, son. Knock off. Give me that item, boy. We're doing some mean damage with the knockoffs. Ooh, weakness policy going. Ooh. Dude, this close combat will just dump on him. We're chilling here. This might be a sweep. Might be a little Pissimian Gardevoir sweep action. Let's see. Who's he going to go out into? Little little girl again. We'll take that thing out. Um, I'm going to just close combat because I know close combat will take that thing out. Well, I don't know for sure. And then we'll just, uh, let's go for a Starfall. Let's go for a Starfall. Take that thing out. Get it out the way. I think Close Combat should be able to take that thing out. Ooh, maybe not because it's Dynamax now. But still, Close Combat's going to be able to do some work. Then we can new turn it out of here. So as long as he does not go after my Pissimian, we should be fine. Like, I think he's going to Steel Spike into my Gardevoir. I think Steel Spike's coming into my Gardevoir. I think we're going to take out that little Gothitelle, Gothita, whatever you want to call it. I cannot think of the second stage name, but that's what it is. It's the second stage right there. Fake out's gonna pop. Oh, it's faking me out again. You little biscuit. Max Starfall's gonna take it out, and the Steel Spike is going to take us out. Wait. Do I think the Steel Spike's taking us out? How much health are we at? We're at decent health, aren't we? Or is he going after my boy? He's going after my Gardevoir. Where's that my Pissimian? Yeah, my Gardevoir. Do we eat that? We do eat that. Okay. Okay. That's a big place. Big place. He gets the defense boost, though, but I still think we're chilling in a solid position. And we have our Berry popping out here. Ooh, we. Ooh wee! Um, that was my last Dynamax turn, right? Yes. No. Yes. I'm, I can't even think. Yeah, that was my third. That was my third. I do believe. Rotom does pop. What Rotom? It is the Heat again. Okay, so Heat comes out here. We who do we have in the back end to kind of counteract this? We have our T Tar. We're fine. We're fine. This game's set. This game's basically set. We're gonna roll into a little bit of a, a little bit of that, and then we're gonna uh, do I Trick Room? No, Trick Room is their bad call. And then we could go into just a little bit of Dazzling Gleam. Now nah, I'm just going to a Psychic. Onto the Rotom. Maybe I should have doubled into the Duralon. Let's see if the close combat actually does do some work. Psychic comes out here. I want this sweep. I want this sweep, guys. I'm hoping we can get it. Ooh, who's going? T-Bolt. You're going. My Pissimian should be able to eat that if it goes on. Yes, sir. Pissimian on four. He gets his close combat all. Yeet. Nice little damage before he rolls out here. I mean, I could totally U-turn out here. Or... No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. Steel Spike's going to take us out. My Pissimian is chilling. He's going to be able to eat up another shot here. So that's fine while he's Dynamax. He has one more turn. But I think the Rotom's going to come into my Pissimian. And then whatever I throw out to the Duraludon's going to go after. So he has Steel Spike, probably Thunderbolt. Um, do I trigger? No. Uh, I'm going to just go Arcanine here. Arcanine's to play. Or I could go into a Protect T-Tar. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What do I really want to go into here? Hmm. I'm going to go into... Do I go protect T-Tar trigger that weakness policy? Or do I just go in here and waste a turn? I'm just going to waste a turn here. I am just going to waste a turn here. There's no really reason for me to go into my T-Tar as this thing is Dynamax. But my T-Tar will be able to clean up if when my Pissimian goes out next turn. But he's going to come into my... What's he called? He's coming into my Arcanine and then going over on side. So I could... I do see us out speeding, so... Not the Rotom, the Duralnon. I could double into a close combat. I could double into a close combat. Yeah, I'm actually going to take out this Duraldon. Duraldon's not even going to see the light of day. We're going to say bye to him. Oh, yeet. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Unless the Rotom does take out my Pissimian. Let's see what happens. We're not lowering our defense, which is pretty bad. Hmm. T-Bolt, yeah. T-Bolt's going to take out Pissimian. This actually might be able to take us out, which is scary. But we do have Rock Slide. Rock Slide could be huge. This might have been a bad call for me to go into that close combat. Because now our defense is dropped. He's going to go into Stab Max Wormwind. Can we eat? Okay, we do eat. That's that's shown. I know we will outspeed. We're going to be able to take out the Loud on here, bring in the T-Tar, and get match number two in the bag. 
Let's go. Let's go. I totally could have played that one smarter. You guys could tell. But I really didn't want to play that smart. I would have went into my T-Tar, protect it, or I wouldn't have used a close combat. It was just either or. It was either or would have been nice plays. Sandstream's going to pop. Get a little bit of Sandstream action. Uh, Duraldon's done here. This turn's over. I'm going to just go into a nice little rock slide. Or do I superpower that thing? No, I'm actually just going to a nice little rock slide. Do some work on that Rotom. And I'm going to finish off the, the Duraldon right here with another close combat. We can drop our defense again. It's not a big deal. But the battle was canceled. Wonderful. Match two in the bag. We're going to hop into our third battle and try to go 3-0. That would be nice. Third and final match, we are sitting at 2-0 with this team. You guys are hanging out with me in the third battle. Let me get a little bit of hashtag jeans stinks in the comment section down below. It's going to throw some people off. It's going to throw some people off because I don't want people coming in there being like, yo, third battle squad when you only watch the first battle. So hashtag jeans stinks in the comment section down below. That's a funny one. That's a funny one. <laughs> but this guy's going in with the snarl, Arcanine, Rotom Mo. We got a little mirror Rotom Mo action. He has the drill. This team looks kind of... uh familiar i think i used a team similar to this with the gashadon not the gashadon the gyarados exadrill and the dragapult um i think he's gonna lead the snarl i think we're gonna take the speed advantage here i think speed advantage will be huge with the whimscott so we're gonna lead the whimscott we're gonna go in with uh does arcanine come in here um i kind of want to go in with the Pissimian once again in the lead uh, we have that knockoff we have all that good stuff to do some work we have the iron head um if we go with our own Arcanine? We could go with our own Arcanine. I think T-Tar's going to roll out here once again. So T-Tar. Um, T-Tar or Arcanine? Or not, I meant Arcanine or Mo. Arcanine or Mo. Just, just calls. These calls. These calls. Uh, we are going to go with the Mo. I think the Mo is a good call. Actually, no. Mo only does work against that... Uh, Mo only does work against that Gyarados. That is it. That is it. But we do have a, a coverage light or... Electric move on our Arcanine. So if we can Dynamax, we can just go after that. What's it called? The boy. The Gary. We're chilling here. We're chilling here. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. I'm ready for this win. I'm ready for this win, baby. The Arcanine Drill comes out for the lead. Okay. Um, I can see him being that uh the Snarl Flamethrower set on that Arcanine. We're going to set up our Tailwind. He's going to go into probably a Steel Spike. He might steal spike. I think he's gonna Dynamax a drill. I might just knock it off. Or should I U turn out of here? I mean, it's defined. That's huge. The Intimidate comes out. I'm gonna I'm Dynamax him right off the rip. I'm totally Dynamax him right off the rip here. Get that Passimian Dynamax in here. And then we go into a Max Knuckle and we could boost our stats once again. Yeah, we're gonna go into the Max Knuckle right on this drill. We are plus one. This will make us plus two, which will be huge. And I think we're chilling from there. I really do think we are going to be chilling from there. We're going to have the speed advantage. Our Pissimian is going to be starting to stack up on the attack boost. And we can start rolling out from there. Get going, baby. Get going. <laughs> but if you guys haven't checked out my last video, what are you doing? That Mudsdale team is awesome. It's actually one of my favorites I used this season. I think I'm going to start pushing the ladder with it. So, hype video. Go check it out. Last video. Pissimian has 400 HP. This thing's rather tanky, to be honest. And one's going to pop. No protects coming out from him. We'll be able to get a nice little stab max knuckle out of here with a plus one attack boost. So this thing could be sash. Let's see what happens here. Boom! Is it sash? It is sash. Okay, that thing is sash. That's fine. Uh, what is the... I think the flamethrower is going to pop across. And maybe a high horsepower. We'll see. We'll see. Get the attack boost. A little bit of boost action. I mean, go ahead. Go for a snarl. That would be nice. He goes for the iron head. That's that's fine. We have our tailwind set up and our sash is going to trigger here. And I think this thing's going to go for a, possibly a heat wave knowing that we are sash. Or the chance that we were sash. Yeah, Heat Wave rolls here. It's fine. But Simeon's chilling. He's chilling. We have the speed advantage now. We can roll in with the... Do we roll in with the Arcanine? Do we roll in with the Arcanine? Do, 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 do. I say we roll in with the T-Tar. I say we do roll in with the T-Tar. We take out the extra drill. And then we go after the Arcanine. I think we are chilling. I think we are chilling. The Sandstorm's going to pop. This thing better not be Sand Rush. If he outspeeds me now, we know he's Sand Rush. Did it say Mold Breaker? I did not see. I did not see. So... Could potentially be Sand Rush. Um, we are going to go for the Rock Slide. Stab. We do some more work. And then another Knuckle. Do we, do we Knuckle up again? Yeah, we're going to Knuckle over on this Arcanine. Get another attack boost. Go plus three with the Pissimian. This is Sing Sand Rush. Did we just give it a free turn? It shouldn't even be getting a turn. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> that, could be, that could be a little tough. Because it will do some work on my boy. On my T-Tar. If it gets a nice little Iron Head off. But it will trigger the weakness policy, which is, which would be big. What are you going to do? 
Pasimian should have a G Max form, and his G Max move should be like Coconut Bowl. He just picks up that coconut and just, mwah, just bowls it down the lane and boom. <laughs> That'd be dope. He's gonna withdraw the Arcanine. That's fine. We're gonna roll out into a Max Knuckle. Okay, in the Grim Snarl. That, that, that's fine. That's chill. We do have Steel Spike on us, so we can boost our defense after this. This thing is Sand Rush. That's rough news. That's rough news. We do eat it, and this Rock Side is gonna do even more damage. But come on. This thing is Sand Rush. I should have known. I should have like paid attention to see if the Mole Breaker thing popped up. But wow, dude. We just gave him a free turn there. That's on our end. Oh, that's double kill action. Lovely. Lovely. Attack boost comes out. Rock Slide just got to land here. We got plus four. No. Yeah. No. Plus three on both our Pokemon now. The Titar's plus three from the weakness policy. And the Passimian's plus three with the Defiant and the two attack boosts. Let's go. Let's go. This match is looking clean, baby. It's looking clean. He has the Arcanine. We're just going to dump it next turn. We should be able to outspeed it. Not like that thing, Sand Rush. Come on, Jeans. You're better than that. I should have noticed that the Mole Breaker didn't happen. So, it's obviously going to be Sand Rush. Dragapult's going to pop. He might actually outspeed us. He might. He's probably going to outspeed my T-Tar to take him out. Or an Extreme Speed's going to pop. Extreme Speed. A little bit of speedy speed. Timmy's going to pop. Oh, dude, you're just defining me again. Plus four, Passimian. Oh, oh, dude, we're kicking it with this thing. This seems awesome. This thing is awesome. Bum, 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 bum. We could go for a crunch. We could go for a crunch. If we do land, it's going to work on the Polsky. You know what? Nah, son, nah. We're going to go for a little bit of rock slide if, we, if it does happen. Actually, no, because I can totally see a Phantom Forcing. So I am going to go for a rock slide. I can see a Phantom Forcing. There's no need for me to go for a Max Darkness over there. Um, bum, bum, bum. If it goes for a Phantom Force... I'm just go into I just knuckle up again. Yeah, stab knuckle will be your best bet. Booster attack once again. <laughs> I want to go into the max darkness over there onto the pulp, but it's just like, do I risk missing one of my Dynamax moves to kind of just like seal up this match? He does have a Dynamax. I, mm, I forgot about that. I should have max darkness into him. Hopefully, he goes for like a max guard. Dang, why did I think he used his Dynamax? He did not. Yeah, we just dumped his first two Pokemon. That's chilling. I thought his extra drill maybe used it. I'm in my head. I'm in my head. It's fine. It's fine. So the Pulse, he gets it, which is chilling. I think we are... I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We still have our, our Pokemon in the back. He does Max Guard, so this is actually perfect for us. It's actually perfect for us, because we do go into the Max Knuckle over on you, which is huge. Built. Bye-bye, Arcanine. See you later. One-tabbed. With that plus four max knuckle, oh my lord, we are plus five on both our Pokemon. But this thing's basically done. This thing is basically done. We're gonna tap it up, we're gonna max darkness into it, and he's just gonna crunch into it. So either Pokemon he hits, he's gonna die either way. He's gonna get one tap either way. It's game over, it is game over. GG, three and oh with this team. If that thing was Sash, there goes your Sash. No, the extra drill was Sash, it's probably Life Orb. It's probably Life Orb if he's Dynamaxing just like that. Let's go. Let's go. GG, baby. Crunch rolling out here. We're going to double into the dark moves. Uh, Knockoff can come in here. I think Knockoff still takes it out. I seriously think it still takes it out. He just cancels up battle. Let's go. Let's get it, dude. Absolutely dominate it. Little bit of three win streak action going on in today's video. We absolutely dominated these ranked battles. We showed off the whole team too. We showed off the little trick room aspect. Even though there wasn't a trick room played, we played it like there was going to be a trick room by imprisoning our guard board. We showed off the speed aspect with the Wimscott. We got to show off the Passimian doing knockoffs and all that, plus five in it, Dynamax in it. Same thing with that T-Tar. We showed off the weakness policy doing work. We had that thing plus five on the attack also. And we showed off the Arcanine and the Rotom as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.